So you've just built out a lead generation chatbot with voice flow or any kind of chatbot for that matter with voice flow. And now you want to send that information over to a CRM like HubSpot. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. You'll be able to type in information like the chatbot I have on the screen now, and then it'll get sent over into HubSpot so you and your sales teams can fight over the lead. Quick disclaimer before we get started, if you want to help building integrations like this or any kind of AI or automations for that matter, make sure to book a free 15 minute phone call with me down in the description below. But anyway, let's get into the video. So I'm coming on over from my lead generation bot that I just built in my last video. I'll have somewhere where you can view it up here, but basically it's a very simple lead generation bot. And we can kind of go through it real quick, but once we run it, I kind of built this out as a wealth management chat bot. So it'll ask us if we want to get started with our business. I'll say, let's get started now. And then it will run us through a series of questions, trying to collect some information about us, about our primary financial goals. I want to grow my current wealth that I also do. I have an existing budget say I do in the range of a million plus and I have a mortgage loan, maybe just on a house or something. You can make it as detailed as you want. What's my full name? I don't know. Kate, something like that. What's my email? Kate at gmail.com. Oh, I spelled that wrong. That's okay though. Just some numbers. And it even says, thanks Kate for all that information. A team member will, be, will reach out within 24 hours to help. Thanks for choosing Green Path Wealth Management. So it's very simple. Just collect some information. We also have a little AI piece here too. So if they have any questions, it answers the questions for them and then also sends them to the information collection area here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And what we're going to do is take the information we collected from these variables, which we made in the last video and send it over to HubSpot. So let's get started. What we're going to do for this is instead of having this phone value route to this block 10 here, we're going to have this route to a dev API call. And this API call is basically what we're going to use to send the information from these variables over to our HubSpot CRM. And to do this, let's go over to HubSpot. So I'm over on my HubSpot account. I barely touched it. So there's not a lot of settings changed. So it's basically factory now. So when I have someone go through my chatbot and enter all the information here, it gets sent over to my list here, right? And then from here, we can set up automations in HubSpot. I'll probably do another video on that in the future. But basically, it'll pop up here and we can see a list of everyone that's interacted with our chatbot and then reach out to them that way. For this, what we're going to do is we're going to need to make a way to interact with an API for our HubSpot account. To do this, we're going to come on over up here to this little gear, the settings tab, and we're going to make a new integration in the integration section down here. And we're going to use this private apps section right here. Um, and I already have one, but we're going to create a new one for this example. And I'll just name this lead gen. You can go through and add a logo and description test lead gen. That's fine. But then we need to add in some scopes. So for this, we're going to add in the CRM scopes here, and we're going to want to add in the CRM schemas and the contacts scopes here. Just the read and the write scopes should be fine. Future Mike here. We're also going to need a couple more scopes. We're going to need line items, read and write. We're also going to need quotes, read and write. Companies, read and write. Deals, read and write. And that should be all we need. So yeah, make sure you have these ones filled out. Click on create app up here and continue creating. And this will give us a token, which we'll use in the future. But for now, we'll just skip that. And let's go back into voice flow and figure this out. If we do get a successful request from our API call, we want this to tell the user that thanks for all that information. And it actually went through. And then just in case, what I like to do is if it doesn't happen, we add a talk text card here with, oh no, your information cannot be processed. You could add really whatever, but please speak to one of our agents, right? Just to kind of give them a little bit of feedback. If for some reason something didn't work for the most part, it should work as long as they're not entering in duplicate information, which can happen. So just be careful about that. Because if someone like messes up their information, for instance, and then re inputs it, it'll actually say it's a duplicate contact and it won't actually add the client information. So be careful of that. Assuming it all goes well, we're going to want to input some stuff into our API request here. And this is what will allow us to connect our little bot here with our CRM. So we're going to set this from get to post. And what this basically means is instead of getting information, we're now sending information. So that allows us to add in a body here, which is what we're going to use for our chatbot. We're going to need a link here. So I'll have this link down in the description below, but it's basically the API link that we're going to use to send over our information. So what happens is when an API call is made, it uses this link to send our information to. So it's basically telling HubSpot, we are want to use the V3, 
which is just like the version they're using an object to our contacts area, right? In our CRM, look at that. And then we just need to enter in some parameters here. So we need two headers. The first header, you can just copy this over directly as it is with content type and then also application slash JSON. And then we also need a second header here and this will be an authorization header and then we need to type in bearer and then we needed to use that key that we just got from hubspot so we come back into hubspot here go to auth in our private apps lead gen little application that we just made we want to use our access token to make api calls and then we'll click on show token copy this token don't use my token i see you people out there and we will paste it in there and then the body is what we'll use to send that information over to hubspot but right now hubspot doesn't know what kind of information we're sending over. So we have to tell HubSpot what kind of information we're sending over. Head on over back to HubSpot, come into contacts again. The way I've been adding in new information is if we come to edit columns here, we can actually come to this don't see a property you're looking for. We want to create a property. And from this, we can make custom properties based off the variables we made in our voice flow bots. So if you remember from our last video, we set the variable of the, these income to these, this information, right? Or like this to loans or like this to budget. It, right so we want to do the same thing for hubspot here so like for instance i think i already have a yeah i already have a goals one set up we'll add in like a um, this budget one for instance right so if we want to add in a new property to collect our budget information for instance we want contact contact information budget and then also make sure you keep in mind this internal name because this is what we'll use to identify what this variable is in our voice flow integration. Um, but that's pretty much all. So we'll do that, select the field. We want this to be single line text just because the easiest one to work with. We're not using any of the form submissions, so we'll just skip this for now. Uh, and then we'll also just click on create. We'll do the same thing for the other ones. I already have one, as I mentioned, built out for goals. So this is the same thing. It's just contact information, single line input, just named goals and it's the also the goals is the internal name for this one here this is kind of how i was i was testing it but we have one for goals we have one for budget now let's make one for income and also for loans so we can exit out of this we'll create a new property we'll do contact contact information we'll say income which should be just variable income which is perfect we want this to be single line and we want this to just be exactly how it is and then we'll do one more for contact contact information loans make sure our variable is loans. I think if I were to make this like loans and things, yeah, it uses underscores for spaces. So just keep that in mind when you're making custom variables. We'll select this to single line text again, and we'll just create this there. So now we have our four variables built out. And the way we get to see these variables in our HubSpot menu is if we come over to our contacts here, click on edit columns, we'll actually be able to search for our income variable that we just made. I have my, my goals one here that I made from earlier and our budget one here. And also we'll put in our loans one that we just made. There we go. You'll have some preset ones here already, but you're going to want to keep the name, the email, the phone number, and then also the rest of the information like the goals, budget, income, loans. And then also I like to keep the created date in there just because it kind of lets you know when the contact came into the pipeline. But this is all the information we'll need for our tutorial today. So click on apply here and we can see we have all our information built out in our CRM for us to analyze when we get a new lead. So now all we have to do is send over the information we got from our bot here. So if we come into our post little API call here, we'll come to body down here and then we'll type raw. We want the raw data. So what we're going to do is this is going to be a little bit of coding knowledge, but I'm going to hold your hand through it is we're going to make a basically a JSON data payload. So we're going to do two curly brackets here and that'll open up our payload. And then we're going to want to set what we want the payload to be. In this case, we're going to name it properties. Make sure this is in quotes and then colon and then another curly bracket. Close the curly bracket, get it going between it and we'll control out of it. And now we can start listing our properties. First, we're going to want the first name. And I think the way this works with HubSpot is the first name is actually just the name contact here. So it's called first name in like the way the database is set up. That's why we asked for the full name right there. But we have the first name. So what we can do is if we do another double quotes and we do a curly bracket and another curly bracket and we'll type in name here. And what that will do basically be our name variable in our request. So let's give this a spin. I'll click on send request. I'll type in my name. I have Mike Powers and I'll click on generate. and 
Look at that. You'll know it works if we get a 201 OK here. And it has our first name and our created date right there. Beautiful. So now if we head on over to HubSpot, let's refresh the page. Look at that. We have Mike Powers as our information. And now we need to do the same thing for the rest of our information. So we have our first name built out. In order to continue this, we just want to do a comma. Always want to have a comma whenever you're doing multiple properties, especially for this one. And we just want to do the email. I'll build these all out now. And we want to do the phone. And we also want to do the goals, budget, and we want to do the income. And we want to do the loans. And then also for all these again, add in double quotes. And then also make sure to add in some commas and let's fill in these variables. So curly bracket, we'll just say email for email. Another curly bracket again, we'll say phone for phone. And then because we already have our goals variable set in our goals variable that we made in HubSpot, which matches this one, this also matches the goals that we set right here. So that's how that will work. So we can say goals and we can also do the same thing for budget because we also name the other one budget and the same thing for income because we also name that one income and loans. Beautiful. So now if we send the request, it gives us all our values for our new input. So I'll change my name to Mike Don. I'll enter my email in. I'll enter my phone in. I'll enter maybe some test goals, some budget, some income, and we have no loans, right? There we go. Just something real simple. This information will be the information that gets selected when the user sets the variables, click on generate, and look at that. We get a 201 OK status. And then if we come back over to HubSpot, we'll refresh the page, maybe refresh it again. Look at that. Mike Don, Mike at Gmail, and our, all our information there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And that's basically all ready to go. You can deploy this chatbot. We'll deploy it again. We'll say lead gen. We'll publish this. And what we'll do is we'll give this a spin in a real life scenario. If you want to share your chatbot with someone, you come over here to the share tab and we'll say open link in new tab. And this will give us a view to where we can interact with our chatbot. So we'll start the conversation. Uh, let's see. I have a question. Let's see what it says. Do you have information for families? Yes, we offer financial literacy programs. Programs. Very sweet. Hope that answers your question. Let's get started. Let's get some information. Um, I want to invest my capital. Um, I do have a budget or financial plan. Make around 100K to 300K. I have a mortgage currently. Uh, my full name is Jack P. My email, jack at gmail.com. And my phone number is just a bunch of nonsense for now. Thanks, Jack P., for all that information. A team member will reach out within 24 hours to help. Thanks for choosing Green Path Wealth Management. And if we head on over to our contacts here, we have Jack P., Jack at Gmail, and all his information in HubSpot ready to go in our CRM. Isn't that pretty cool? Drop a like on this video if you like seeing that. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you like seeing how I built this lead generation bot and how I got it to integrate with HubSpot, make sure to leave a like down below. Also, leave a comment. What do you want me to integrate, automate? I'd love to hear what you guys want me to build. Also, once again, if you're interested in building some kind of AI bot or solution, make sure to book a free 15-minute call down with me in the description below. I'd love to chat with you on any kind of AI or automation solutions that you need for your business. And with that being said, how about you go watch this video here where I build a Airbnb chat bot in voice flow that'll answer any kind of questions your guests could have. It's another great way to learn voice flow. So I'll see you guys over there.